Hello, it's Helen from Journal with Purpose and welcome to my latest journaling video. Today I'm going to be using a plain standard size traveller's notebook insert which I keep inside this vintage like cover from Start Bay Notebooks. In my last video you might have seen that I received loads of lovely products from London Gifties so I'm going to be having a play with those today. And these are some pages that I created recently trying out some of that lovely mushroom washi tape. I've started off by placing an underlay board underneath my left hand page and using a binder clip to make sure that I can keep my pages flat. I didn't have any particular plan in mind for these pages when I started. I just put lots of the rolls of washi tape and stickers on my desk and thought I would just see what I fancied using. So I'm starting off by adding some strips of washi tape to the side of my pages. And I'm using two different layers and I really like doing that, especially when the top layer is transparent tape so you can still see the design of the first one behind it. And I'm just tearing that tape so I've got the lovely rough edges. The next thing I decided to do was look through the lovely, amazing sets of stickers that Christine so kindly sent me. And I'm just having a look through for anything that I will think will tie in really nicely with the green washi tapes. And as always, I love anything with florals or leaves on it. So I knew that they would be very likely appearing on my pages. And I really liked these green leaves that are on a transparent background. So I'm just lining up the sticker sheet to see how I think that will look. The next thing I decided to do was use some of the watercolour paints from London Gifties and I decided to add some splashes of green along the bottom right hand page. As you can see this paint palette has been well used already and I love adding different shades of watercolour to my pages, it's just so much fun. I picked three different shades of green and I'm going to use that to add some leaves on that bottom right hand page. If I'm ever struggling for ideas for my journal pages for how to decorate them, I find it's really useful to pick a main colour that I want to work with because that helps me to really focus on the supplies that I've got and think about any images that naturally lend themselves to using those colours. So I'm now going to start painting the leaves and I'm using an Escoda watercolour paintbrush. I'm just going to draw some really simple thick leaves coming right up from the bottom. I've added this simple leaf design to a few of my journal pages now and I've done it in lots of different colours including blues and pinks just using the different shades which I think gives a really nice effect. And because it's such a simple design it's something that I find really relaxing to do. I created these pages the day before taking my daughter back to university and I was feeling a bit sad about the fact she was going back but really excited for her 
and I knew that I wanted to create something quite simple that would definitely relax me without having to overthink it and these pages worked really really well for that. My daughter is now back safely at university. Our trip wasn't without dramas. My car broke down within a couple of minutes from home. The brakes failed. I managed to get it recovered and then hire a transit van, quickly swap all of her belongings over and fortunately got her back. So I've been taking it a bit easier this week just to recover from everything that happened that day. And my journal has been such a lovely place for me to be able to create and get all of those thoughts down onto paper. I've now moved on to using the second shade of green and I dried the first layer with a heat tool before doing this. And I really like how those different paints look once they're layered on top of each other. And I'm now going to do exactly the same thing using that third shade of green paint, which is slightly darker than the others. And I'm just varying the height and direction of the leaves. One of the things I love about watercolour is that you don't have to be anything like an expert, which I'm certainly not, to get some really lovely designs on your journal pages. And I feel like I mention Creation CC all the time, but if you're looking for watercolour inspiration, then I definitely recommend checking out her YouTube channel. She has so many wonderful videos aimed at anybody with any level of experience. So definitely have a look at that. I'll leave all of her details linked down below. Now that the painting is finished, I'm going to add some stamping and I'm going to use this lovely vintage style alphabet stamp set along with some ink pads that were from London Gifties. And I bought this stamp set ages ago from an Etsy shop, but there's something similar on Amazon. So I'll leave that linked just in case you're looking for something like this. And the words I'm going to stamp out are go with the flow. And that's definitely something I've been trying to do at the moment. If nothing else, the past few months have definitely taught me that there's so much that's outside of our control and all we can ever really do is try and adjust in the best way we can and just really, I guess, make the best of every situation possible. So that's kind of the theme for these journal pages today. Now that a lot of the main design elements are added, I'm just going to add some extra floral decorations. And inside my box of goodies from London Gifties were these packs of transparent stickers that look like pressed flowers. So I decided to have a look through and try and pick some that I thought would tie in with my theme. And I thought going with something with lovely white flowers and yellow centres would tie in really well. And it's great with transparent stickers that you can move them around and see exactly how they're going to look before you place them. So I thought I'd have one just popping out from those leaves along the bottom, going right across the centre of two pages. To balance out the look of my pages a little, I also decided to add another flower in that top right hand corner, overlapping the washi tape. The next thing I'm going to do is add my date and another quote. 
And for this, I'm using a Tombow Fudenosuke brush pen with a firm nib. And this pen came from Colt Pens. The quote that I'm adding is, this won't last forever. And that was just a reminder to myself that with how I was feeling about the things that have happened this year and my daughter going back to uni, that nothing stays the same way for very long, especially not at the moment. So just a reminder really to kind of hang on in there. I really enjoy writing little reminders to myself in my journal. Not only does it help at the time, but when I look back through some of my old journal pages, and perhaps things I was struggling with at the time, if I then flip forwards another few pages, I realise that already within quite a short period of time, so much changes and I feel completely differently. I'm now using a Pigma Micron pen and I'm going to use this to add some dashed lines around the outside of my page. I really like adding simple borders on my page. I think it just makes it look a little bit more complete. And I'm now going to add that same pattern above and below my quote just to help it stand out a little more on my page. Now that all of the decoration is finished, I'm going to move on to the journal writing itself. And for this, I'm using a Twisby 580 AL fountain pen. On my journal pages, I always try and balance the decoration along with leaving lots of space for writing. And the creative part helps to relax me and get me thinking about what the journal pages mean to me. But having lots of writing space is also really important to make sure that I've got somewhere to get out all of my thoughts and feelings. As always, I'd love to hear how everything is with you. Have you had much time for journaling? Have you been able to get your thoughts down on paper? I tend to go through spells where I create lots of pages within a couple of days and then sometimes have a few days or even a week off. But it's so lovely knowing it's always there when I need it. I really hope you've enjoyed watching this video. If you have, it'd be great if you'd leave it with a thumbs up and if you're new to my channel, I would love it if you would consider subscribing. If you've got any questions or comments, then please do leave them down below. And as always, I'll leave links in the description box for all of the products that I've used. Thank you ever so much for watching and I look forward to speaking with you really soon in the next one.